Hey guys, it's Justin here from Jack Production Studios, and welcome back to another LEGO update video. So as you guys can probably tell, I'm using my new camera. This is the Canon Rebel T2i. I wanted to get the T3i, but I uh, fell short like 50 bucks, I think, for it. So that, that sucked. And uh, yeah, so I'm still figuring out how to use the camera and just all the settings and stuff. I luckily know how to uh, shoot and shoot video and take pictures. I didn't know how... <laughs> Actually, it took me so long to figure out how to record video on this, but anyway. Yeah, I have my uh, buddy Lego Spencer help me out with this a little bit. I'll have to talk to him more about how to actually use the camera and take better quality photos and videos. I'm not sure how this will turn out. And I don't know how the audio is, as it's I'm using the uh, built-in mic. I may get an external mic eventually, because I know this isn't the best mic, but hopefully it's better than my phone mic. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to start off with my Christmas haul this year. Well, actually, from last year. But, uh, yeah, also Happy New Year's. I think it's the it's the 10th today, so I'm a little bit late. Yeah, so starting off over here uh, with what I got on PAB, I got, I think it was a $50 gift card, so I bought three cups, uh, three pick cups, and I got a cup of the 1x2 sand green plates. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go over this pretty quick because I don't want to spend more than half the video going over what I got on PAB. Yeah, I'll just show you guys the part. I don't really have to name it. If you guys want um, better photos, I guess I I didn't post anything on Instagram, but I could always maybe like comment down below what I got or whatever, or maybe add them at the end of the video or something. But it's mostly self-explanatory, and a lot of the parts were from the penguin build from this month. Yeah, so black cheese slopes. I'll actually tell you guys the black parts since those are a bit hard to see. Uh, ball joint parts. I was actually informed by my bro my uh, buddy Chris that. This part isn't the proper. This is actually like the uh, what it was like a hitch, at the back of a, well, it go on the back of like a truck, and then that would attach a trailer to it. I didn't realize that when I grabbed it, but yeah, it's not actually the other end of a ball joint. You got that piece in dark blue gray. Uh, this piece in dark blue gray, and now on to some of the more random stuff. A lot of this is from the Penguin build, as I said. Stuff with um. Light blue, light blue is gray. Uh, just yellow trends. Yeah, just trends yellow uh, suds. White, one by two bricks. Uh, so white arches. I don't know what this part is, but I got that in white as well. White jumper plates. I, I just said I wasn't gonna name the parts, but I ended up doing that anyway. Uh, yeah, black plates. Uh, one half of like a, hin a black hinge. Using these on the scrap tower right now, so I don't have to focus it. this. Yeah, so I'm using these on the tower right now to get the circular shape. So I don't have all of them in the bin. Um, yeah, just black jumpers. Uh, whatever part, uh, the, those are brackets in black. That's all these drawers. Um, yeah, the other part of the black hinges. This like yellow mustard like yellow uh, tooth part is used for the beak of the penguin then black suds black I think they're like profile breaks or something like that uh, so like used for seats and black then uh, black rounded arches or whatever these are and black tires and that's really it for uh, the pap hole sort of went to it a little bit too fast but I just don't want to like I said, I don't want to spend the like, half the video going over that. This is uh, quite annoying, and I don't want to focus into my camera all the time. So if I pick up the part and putting it over here, you have to refocus every time. Maybe there's a way to change that, but I don't know how to use this thing yet, as I said. And yeah, um, I did get some clothing and stuff. A few, like a Falcons hoodie, because I know that's my favorite football team. Uh, Star Wars hoodie. We've got a Rogue One shirt with Junior so on it. It's actually like my favorite shirt. I did post something at did post it on Instagram, I believe, so if you guys want to see that, go over there. Uh, i got a few other shirts and clothing and stuff that, yeah, not really important to Lego, or YouTube, for that matter. Yeah, I guess I'll just go over the uh, last few things I bought myself. These are just for the sake of, like, yeah, collecting things. So last year I got the Funko Pop Ray and the Elite Series Ray figure. That's a Disney Store exclusive. So I picked up the Funko Pop Gin and... 
the uh, Funko, Pop, Funko Pop Elite Series Gen or so. The lighting over here is poor. My uh, light bulb that is over there on the other side of my basement sadly went out. So we have to replace that, but I decided I might as well get this video out on my usual uh, update day. Yeah, the boxes for those are right there. And, uh, yeah. So what else? Uh, um, oh, that's my old phone. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Finger pins. That's my, that's my phone, not my old phone. Uh, yeah. I think, I think that's just about it for anything over here. Yeah, as you can tell, it's real, it's mess, customizing stuff, uh, like, just paint, Lego parts, um, paint bottles and that stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, so now on to this Scarif Mock that I'm working on. This is the Citadel Tower from Rogue One. I'm just building this section of the tower. Maybe I'm probably going to add a little bit below that point down there where it connects, where it hits my ta uh, table. Yeah, and then there's going to be probably up to about here of a build, maybe. I haven't really fully decided yet, and I've been looking at pictures and stuff, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have enough reference photos, sadly, so this is a bit of a difficult build. But I did be I was able to, uh, piece together what I have here. And, uh, yeah. If you guys want better photos of this, I did post some on Instagram. And, yeah. Um, so two. now on to, uh, some custom minifigures. Working on... Um, at least working on two right now. That is Orson Karnick. There he is. Uh, not really like my be my best figure so far. It's quite simple, but yeah, I have a little more work to do on him, and he'll be done soon. And then I have Jen here, who is done. I'm waiting for some other figures to make a showcase for her. I'm not even going to attempt to find my Cassian or K2, but I did start them. There are photos on Instagram if you guys want to see them. Sorry about that. There. Uh, I think there's somewhere in either that bin or the bin below it. And I didn't get them out before the video. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, those are just some Rogue One customs I'm working on. I may do Vader or Tarkin. But, maybe not. I haven't really decided about that yet. Oh, and, uh, speaking of, yeah, my Rogue One customs, I did get, as you guys can tell, that's Cape Manus, uh, cloth, the cape and the waist cape. I did get an order. Uh, originally, I ordered this on, I think, the 15th of last month. Might have been the 19th. I don't know what day. Point is, I ordered it, and I guess it got lost in the mail, and I waited like two, three weeks. I think it's been like three weeks since that point. I waited like two weeks, and then I contacted the guy that runs Cape Madness, uh, Dave Ingram, I believe is his name, and he was kind enough to reship my order. It was only a $6 order. I got uh, two of that cape and two of the waist cape. Yeah. So he's kind enough to reship my order. He said that he only does this like once per customer. Yeah, but was glad I got that in today, actually, which is why I worked on Karnak a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I think that's really it for this video. Just trying to figure out if there's anything I didn't go over. Yeah, oh, um, I should probably explain all the bins everywhere. Uh, these last couple of days I've been sorting. It's been, yeah, my room's quite a mess. I don't, yeah, I'm not showing the rest of my room right now because of how big a mess it is. I say this all the time, though. That's why I don't show my room. Yeah, so I've been sorting. That's why all the bins are over there. Just all of that, there's bins here, uh, parts on the floor. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty big mess, but I've been sorting it slowly while, uh, like, listening to music, um, listening to audio audiobooks and that stuff. Hopefully I'll be able to, uh, get this all sorted out, uh, over the next couple of weeks. And that one brick order I did mention has parts for, uh, this mock, so I'm not continuing this until I get those parts. Just an excuse to sort, at least for now. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And sorry about, I don't know how the audio quality is, but it's probably not that good, as I mentioned earlier, but whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.